Okay, last command in this section, at least, that we want you to learn. In. So the problem here says, what is the average retweet count for users in India, Canada, China, United States, and United Kingdom? Okay, there's a few ways we could do this, and uh, the in command allows us to do it a little bit more efficiently. So let's go ahead and copy this, and I'll show you what I mean here. All right, so average retweet, retweet count. Let's start with that. So uh, let's get country because we want it for those specific countries. Um, let's get the AVG of retweet count. We'll call this as average retweets. Uh, we're going to need um, country and tweet. I don't think we're going to need user. Or sorry, location and tweet. I don't see anything in there that means we need user. We're not going to limit. However, if since we're doing a function, we will need group by country. Let's get that in there. Okay, so we have that specific list right there. I'm going to cut that out. So I'm going to use that in just a moment. Then I'm going to delete this so that we can just see if this is working as it is. All right, so here we have average number of retweets by country. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and we're going to add on to this an order by uh I can't remember. Let's see if I can use my new name, Average Retweets, now that it's been calculated in this lineup here. I can't remember. It might depend on the engine. Oh, I, yeah, I can. So I can, once I've named Average Retweet Count up here, I can use it down here in order by. But let's do this descending so we can see highest to lowest. Slovenia, of course. You know, that's exactly what I would have thought. And then the Palestinian territory, totally for sure. That's what I would have guessed at the top two. All right, so uh, let's do this. Here's what we're going to do next. We want uh, certain countries. So we could do this a couple ways. I could come here and say where country equals, and I could just go through and say equals this or that or this or that and go through all of them. Or I could use the in command, country in, and then give my list. Now I will need to use single quotes around those though, because this is specific text. And I believe I don't go around, even though I know proper English, we put the single quote after the comma. We don't do that with programming code. So this is a little bit quicker than saying where country equals India or country equals Canada or country equals China or country equals US and so forth. We can also use the not operator. So you may remember uh, we used that uh, earlier with is not null or is null. Um, here, we, let's say that we wanted everybody who wasn't in one of these sort of big five tweeting countries. So we could say where country not in and then we get everybody else. So in, not in, useful way to uh, run um, a bunch of criteria at once when we have a list of uh, values we want to check against a single uh, attribute. So uh, that's it for the in command.